Okay, how to make a splatter a splash effect instead of ZBrush? I'll load this uh, default project from the light box. I duplicate that. I go to the geometry, geometry, modify topology, and you need to unweld all. Unweld all. After that, you are free to use class pool, like so. Class pool is located in your brushes. Just press C in your brushes and find those class brushes. Okay, so I turn off symmetry. I can do something like this. Yeah. Then I go to the dynamic subdivision and turn this on. Go to the macro poly. I can bring something like cube 2-2, two, 2x2. Two, two two. Just bring that in. And you can play, play around with those settings in there. Just keep it at 1. Can you know, play around with those options. And you can do so. Uh, something crazy like this then from there I grab the move topological move topological is located in your brushes press M move topological and do so And on the way, you can use different brushes as well and different techniques. But generally, it's something very, very easy that you can do. You can make, you know, multiple, you know, sub tools, duplicate them, and make, you know, effects on top of each other. So that's it.